Welcome to the office. Hi, Myra. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. So, you had one visit with me. You mm -hmm. came a few weeks ago, about a month yeah. ago. Yeah. And it's for your scoliosis, mm -hmm. right? And we did a whole evaluation. Mm -hmm. We went over everything. Yeah. Tell us what happened. There's a lot of changes for the past like almost two months. Um, first, my, in my head, I can now tie my hair the whole shift without having migraine. I can't do that before. Oh wow. Yeah, um, oh, okay. it's painful and and I still have headache though some sometimes. Okay. It, because of motion sickness, it's that's the only part when I have like when I have long drives, I always have motion sickness and it's still there. But the good thing is my neck doesn't hurt anymore. Like my neck, like okay. I was shocked. I, I really didn't one, expect one adjustment. I didn't expect anything with that adjustment because for having like almost ten chiropractors, I didn't have I didn't see any changes before. But so then what did I didn't you, expect what that. Then, what did you come for? What did you expect with coming up for one visit? I didn't expect like a huge changes. So I was like, oh. Hmm. <laughs> I don't have that neck pain anymore. Okay. Like I noticed before, I'm, when I'm so focused in doing something, like I'm doing lab work, so let's say, and yeah. I always catch myself, my jaw is always like this, and my tongue is out, but my mouth is closed, so it's like that. Okay. I always do that. I catch myself doing that, and it's giving me tense. Not no pain, but it, it's it's lesser now. Okay. I don't know if that if it has anything to do with the adjustment in my neck. So I noticed that. And then I don't tilt my head that much anymore because I always catch myself doing that, okay. tilting my head because I think that's my comfortable position. I don't know. Okay. And then. How's the back? The mid back. There's still pain in the mid back. Sure. And then, and what's the the? I I'm so shocked. My hips doesn't have no, no pain anymore. <laughs> I don't have any pain anymore when I get up or lie down it's so smooth i can do the like i can do a lot of movements like awesome. seriously yeah um, how about work at work i sitting because you sit a lot at work mm -hmm. right sit and stand like you're in the walk. lab right yeah in the lab so my, how's your lab work my then? hips doesn't give me any pain anymore but the mid back there's still pain but it doesn't bother me because yeah that the hips is the one that i'm so concerned about before and the mid back, there's still pain if I do some lifting. Okay. Not a heavy lifting, but you know, just lift like a water or something. Like I have to carry it. Okay. Yeah. So and there's a lot, a lot of changes. Was yeah, I'm so shocked. Wow. And okay. That's cool. um, I'm a little shocked too. Yeah. Okay. I didn't expect it. Like seriously. Okay. So, um, I'm still using my binder though at work Please. for the past few weeks. Yes. And there's a time I forgot to use it, and I'm so anxious. I got so scared because um, I'm so used to wearing it for years. You're talking about your brace, right? Yeah, the binder, the, the binder. Velcro type. Yes. Um, I get scared because my pain, I, my body is anticipating pain. It's what I already already know in my body. Her story of pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I. So the whole time I was scared, and I feel like pain is coming. Pain is coming, but. Yeah, I didn't feel any pain in my hips. So I was like, oh my god. This is cool. I, I, I was almost so emotional that time. This I, is, I don't. Oh my gosh. This is good. It's okay. It's okay. It was a big deal for you. It's too. just so painful. I get to sneeze now without. Like it's it's smoother, but but I still use my binder if if I know that I have to carry something like my flight going here I have to use the binder during the in the airport because I sure. know I have to carry the luggage like it's not like carry carry it but it's it's not heavy but I think it will give me pain I don't know I'm I'm still scared. You still use it, okay? I, you still yeah. use your binder. You still use it. Yeah, if I know that I have to carry something. Right. Because I'm, I'm scared. I don't want to be in pain. Don't be Cause, scared. Because if it's just a physical pain, I can handle it. But it affects my... my The way 
way I I handle things like my relationship with other people, it's it's making me cranky. I don't like it. Pain sucks. Yeah. It's just not physical pain. It's not yeah. The physical part is actually easy to deal with, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. It's when it starts because, affecting yeah, your I, psyche. I'm so used to the pain, but the story of the pain. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, um, the my wrist. It's when I do yoga. It's it's not that painful anymore, but I can feel some pressure. Sure. But no pain. Yeah, that's what I and I notice every you know the transition in the yoga, like standing up, going down. It's smoother now. My hips doesn't hurt that much. And when we do like, there's a part in the yoga like we have to lift our body or something like lower it while li lying down. I can do it. Like I can do it like for two seconds. And it's like, why is it so easy for them? They can do it for like. Everyone has different ways. Yeah, I was like, okay. I can't do it. So I have to wait for them to finish. And I was just like, like lying there. Like why can't they do it? I can't. Well, hopefully soon you'll be able to do it, okay? I can. Oh, I did. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, I can carry my head. Nice. Yeah, I, I was so shocked. I didn't know I can do it. Like sit-ups. I can't do that before. So I want to talk about something. And uh, in her case, you know, we talked about, we did the evaluation of mm -hmm. your scoliosis. And what we found is we found some bones that have changed shape. So this isn't a case where we're going to do adjustments and, and we're going to straighten out your spine. What are we doing? We're trying to find your balance point. Mm -hmm. And with what we adjusted that first visit, we adjusted occiput tailbone and uh, T7, I believe. Yeah. And that was enough to get the pressure off uh, the nervous system and, and give you some quality, right? Give your yeah. body less tension right. and able to move better. Mm -hmm. And we'll evaluate you and see where you're at today as well, okay? Mm -hmm. And just know this is a management. It's finding finding a management point for her that gives her her quality of life. Mm -hmm. That's really what this yeah. case is, okay? So mm -hmm. it's a little different, and I'm I'm also pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I didn't expect uh, that many changes mm -hmm. in one adjustment. I expected a little bit though. Yeah. Okay. You ready to get started? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so we're going to check your spine. Okay. Uh, jaw, wrist, and uh, feet, whatever we okay. find. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we started on our tailbone down here. And we'll see, we'll take a look and see. We'll probably do tailbone and push the pelvis up, depending on what we find. And in terms of the rest of the body, T7 occiput, I don't know until we examine because just changing the foundation hopefully has changed a lot of the structure of the spine. You ready? Yes. Let's, do it. Let's see what we got going on here, starting at the base of the neck. We're going to continue on top. Occiput, left side. So what's interesting there today, now let's mark her spine, okay? So we can, one of the things when we're learning the work is we're taught to mark the spinuses. And by marking the spinuses, we want to be, we want to bisect the spine with the scope, okay? Number one. Number two, we want to make sure it's equidistant. So we're not running it straight this way. That's wrong. We have to follow the contour. Okay, so let's follow the contour. And let's see. We've got a tiny bit hiding out right there. That's around T5. Follow the contour, follow the contour. Didn't stop, keeps going to the sacrum, left SI joint, and then bottom right. Oh, you in for a treat today. <laughs> Head down, static palpation. Right there. More tender at the bottom. This one, this one, or this one? Oh yeah, that, that one. one. That one. 
So you see how many people responded to you, okay? Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> it's R. They told me R. Uh, yeah, that is from the Manila people. All right. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh. Okay. oh. One, two, three, four, five. The thrill is from Manila. <laughs> Sacrum puffy, but still less. Let's check the hip movement. Back slowly first towards me. Let's check the sacrum. L5. Oh, Tender. Yes. Oh, S1. Okay, that one. S2. Oh, that is more. S3. Oh. Try that again. L5 is tender, Wait. yes. Yes. Oh, okay, S1. okay. Yes. S2. S3. Yeah, that one. S4. I'm outside, okay, on the bottom. S5 no. and down in the tailbone. Yes? Um, not really, not but it's tender. Oh, yeah, it is. On the right. Okay. There, it okay. is. there it is. Yeah. It's right, <sighs> right coccyx mm. sacrum. Let's <laughs> check the pelvis. Scoot forward, please. Feet together. Mm -hmm. Open and close the knees with the feet touching. Open and close. Right side only. Left side only. Pelvis is still not ready yet, so we want to do sacrum. S1, sacrum. And we want to do coccyx S5, T5. And let's check up top, okay? Mm -hmm. Sit back for me, please. Back slowly. and check the occiput. That's not moving. Uh, right, right uh, there. Left occiput, T5. And... Alright, let's do this. So it showed I did, uh, uh, I'm going to do quite a bit down low, okay, today. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little gangster today. Sit back for me, Chris. So the Manila people say, all right? Yeah, they have different dialect. There's ours. a little different. Yeah. And you say a guy. Yeah. And wh where is that from? Um, from Cabandior, Visaya. Some people recognize your language, you mm -hmm. know that, right? Oxaput. Let's use the seacoat. Okay? Okay. Gotcha. P.S. L.S. And what I'm doing is I'm stabilizing a little more with my pec just to get that three point on her. She's a little super. She's a little flexible. Let it go the best you can, please. There. Just relax the head down. Let the left ear fall. She's tense. It's okay. You see how you're pushing back? Yeah. Try not to. Just let it relax forward. Let the head go forward. So I can't do it that way. It's not happening. Sorry. Come over here, please. That's right. Go face down, bend your head to the left, left hand here, and we're going to do an occiput this way. Damn. Oh, oh boy! Gotcha. Whoa! Gotcha. Head down, please. T5. Hi. <laughs> Good morning, LA. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. You see how far out I have to be here? T five. Hand down, please. Gotcha. Now. We're going to do the low 
back on this side. Okay. Okay. Walk it off, please. Like my hips doesn't give me pain anymore. Nice. Let's go left side down, please, over here. Now, this is again, this is not a textbook move I'm doing, guys, because of the way the spine curves, but I'm down low S5 coccyx. Um, it's going to be very light, very quick, not a lot of traction, not a lot of traction in the shoulder for this one. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. Hi. I'm going to be on the outside here, okay? Uh -huh. Right on the right. There. I'm going to bring it up. Let it roll. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, that's it. That's it. Let's go to the other side now. You're still with me there, eh? Yeah. Side, please. Here. Bottom leg, top leg, calcaneus, navicular. Mm. Other side, please. Let's keep going. Heel, Ooh. navicular. Other, uh, sit up and turn, please. Sit up. Yes, ma'am. Let's re scope. It's set different today. It's set nice. You can already see the swelling came down here. But it was more of a squishy, more of a squishy set today. T5 is clear. Huh. Sacrum is clear. Would you look at me, tell me what you see, driving in my car. Are we there yet? All clear. Ah, oh, gangster. <laughs> gangster. Ears. Oh, wow. Now, sit back center on the chair. Let's check the jaw. Open. Right EX, left AI. Let's check one other thing though, hold on. No, that's fine. We're gonna do the right EX. Can I go? Yeah. Open all the way, open. Close halfway, hold, hold. Don't move.
squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Elbow. Rest. Squeeze. Relax there. Why are you going away? Come on. <laughs> Relax the wrist. Elbow. Mm -hmm. Relax the wrist. Nice. Squeeze. Squeeze. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. So I'll let, okay. um, I'll let you decide then. Okay. okay. When you're coming back. And mm -hmm. that's just the reality of yeah. the situation, right? Right. And uh, you're okay with it. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. I'm so happy with a lot of changes. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, thank Madam, you. it was a pleasure. Yeah. And uh, if I see you in the afternoon, great. If mm -hmm. I don't for any reason, yeah. let us know when you're coming back. Okay. Questions okay. for me? Thanks. Um, is there any chance like the spine would, you know, or like just maybe like the physical scapula would like bless Can it? Bulge. Can it? Yes. Will it straighten out completely? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But can it get better by relaxing the nervous system and balancing the muscles more? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Should you be looking at some sort of scoliosis workout program and stretches? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. There's a lot of channels and a lot of people mm -hmm. out there doing that stuff. Yeah. Um, and it's all pretty much pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So you continue your movements, your exercise. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be doing any weights, and hopefully I see you into the summer. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Doc. God bless you. <laughs>